Coming from an HBC, coming from an HBCU, do you feel like that you had to work just a little bit hard, especially with the stigma behind not being able to, you know, not a lot of eyes being on HBCUs? Yes, sir. Um, I always felt like we got to work a little bit harder. You know, we got to do a, a little bit extra. So, like, even when, like when I felt hurt or like when I felt like I couldn't go a day, like I had I had to use that as my day to get better because the thing that's gonna separate us is like our toughness and stuff like that. So. Like, I always tried to just push myself to the max every single day. And because I knew I was fighting from behind, you know, I was coming from behind. So I just worked as hard as I could every day because I know, like, you know, when you go to like an Alabama or a Georgia, it's easy to get complacent. You're on the top, you know, you're on the top of the hill your whole college career. So, like, I just tried to work my hardest every day. When I, so when I got to this level, I could be able to compete with those guys and show that I'm just as athletic and just as intelligent in the game of football. From a coaching perspective, do you feel like there's a lot of potential within you that could be unlocked at the next level? Yes, sir. Um, I started playing football again. Uh, I, played, uh, I played Little League, but I, I didn't start playing football until my junior year of high school. So, like, I, I feel like there's still a lot of football for me to learn. And I, feel, I feel like I learn every day, like, even being around these guys, like, just hearing how they play the game and stuff like that. Just hearing the coaches talk, like I learn every time somebody talks about football. So um, I feel like there's a lot left for me to learn about the game. I got a lot more potential. A lot easier to put on weight because, like, I always like was like conscious of what I was eating and stuff. But when you actually got the resources to actually do it, and like you got unlimited resources, food wise and supplement wise, it's easier to um, stay on schedule with your with your eating and stuff like that. So like. Literally, I was gaining about two, three pounds a week. Some weeks I might gain three or four pounds just because, I, you know, we did a lot of leg exercises. So my, my legs growing, upper body growing, stuff like that. So um, it came more like really like like consistently. Like I was consistently putting on weight every week. Like I went to the um, Senior Bowl 226, but I was 236 last week before I uh, flew up here.